can you believe that I recorded this whole entire video just to find out during the editing process I didn't have the audio on so there was no audio The evolution of mobile network has truly changed over the decades. The very first mobile phone was 0G. Maybe the term mobile isn't quite accurate. Instead, you can call it thriller technology. These thriller phones were very bulky and hard to move around. Now, what most of us are familiar with are corded and cordless phones, which were running off of 1G. And these were technically the first phones the pub was able to use to make phone calls. This is the start of instantaneous communication. Little did we know mobile technology will be revolutionized the way we communicate every 10 years. 2G, remember those Nokia phones? Well, their speed was 2.4 kilobytes per second, essentially like dial up, but over time, it got 15 times faster. This gave phones the ability to text and to send pictures. Quick question for all my older guys out here. And I'm talking about you guys in the 30 clubs are up. Were you guys able to send pictures with your Nokia phone? Let me know in the comments below. And since you're in the comments, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And most importantly, go ahead and like the video. 3G is almost 100 times faster than 2G, which allows us to use the internet on our phones. We can browse on sites like MySpace, Black Planet, Yahoo Messenger, and so on. 4G was a game changer. 4G is 50 times to 500 times faster than 3G. You can do anything like stream 1080p on Netflix, game online with hundreds of other players at the same time. This definitely beats dollar connection. If you're old like me, I'm sure you can relate. Four G allows you to access apps quicker on your phone, but it didn't allow free minutes before 9 p.m. Five G changed the way the world will run forever. You can argue that we are in a digital age and not the Stone Age. With a good five G signal, you can browse the internet with no load times. Let's get a little more dangerous. Picture yourself on a computer controlling a robot arm. The process is so smooth with a high internet signal and it looks like the robot arm is an extension of your body. There's no latency and movement, but the real deal is 6G. So many people are high for 6G. Well, at least the corporate heads I'm talking about. Some of you are baffled because most of us can't even get a 5G signal but now we're talking about 6G, which isn't scheduled to come out until 2030. It's like, wait a minute, what about 5G? Well, let me explain. That doesn't concern the corporate heads at all. Right now, they are actively working on 6G as we speak. You have big companies like Microsoft, Samsung, Qualcomm, and so on, they all are working together to stay ahead of the next generation, to stay relevant, so that way people can buy their products. Samsung have built working 5G back in 2013, and 5G was globally rolled out in 2020, so there was like seven years ahead in the future. This will show you how far into the future these companies are. So all these sci-fi movies you are watching, you may want to pay a little more close attention. They have a lot of truth to them. And I'm not trying to get caught up in all the conspiracy theories and stuff like that, but I'm just saying, these companies already have 6G chips developed. Currently, it's 50 times faster than 5G at its fastest speed. Check this out. 6G will be so fast, you'll be able to download 142 hours of Netflix in one second. <laughs> Very impressive, like literally one second. 
This also means you can have 10 times more devices connected and the connection is more reliable. Currently, we are not living in the future of iRobot where we see autonomous vehicles everywhere. Not yet, at least, which is the reason why 6G is so important because of the direction that society is moving towards. Look at it, the evolution of gaming like the Atari from the late 1970s and today we have modern consoles like PlayStation, Xbox, and the Nintendo offering all digital gaming, just like digital media like movies and music. Rest in peace, blockbusters. The way the world looked back then is different today and the way the world looks today will be much different in 2030. Let's say you have thousands of self-driving cars on a network at the same time. Well, 5G won't cut it, but the power of 6G will give each car connectivity so it can react to hazardous situations, adjust the different speed limits, and avoid hurting or worse, killing someone. These autonomous vehicles have to stay online at all times and the connection has to be reliable to be able to process data simultaneously at the speed of light. Now, picture an autonomous feature where cars are completely aware of other cars and you're traveling to work in the congestion traffic. Your job is 15 minutes away, but it takes 45 minutes to an hour to get to work. With an autonomous future, there will be no traffic jams, no accidents in the perfect world, and travel will be easy and relaxing because humans aren't operating behind the wheel. Because your autonomous car will coordinate with every other autonomous vehicle while you're on route to your destination. Remember those sci-fi movies like Star Wars with holographic technology with 6G? Augment reality will exist that form for several reasons. Unlike 4G, the waves can only travel 10 miles away from a 4G tower. 5G made this problem worse because the only way you can deliver faster speeds is using smaller high frequency waves. They are called millimeter waves because they are little, but they are so small they are easily blocked by trees and buildings. If you're in an area with a perfect 5G signal, you may want to stick in that area. 5G is so complex because instead of needing one central tower like 4G, you'll need several towers on every street to keep a stable 5G connection. In other words, you have one tower in your downtown area for 4G. However, with 5G, that one tower turns into six towers. But this gets even crazier. 6G use smaller waves called sub-millimeter waves. Now, those six towers turn into 12 towers. I'm sure a lot of you guys are thinking about radiation. You're not wrong to think that because radio waves do produce a small amount of radiation, but we will save that for a different conversation. Having more 6G transmission in your home will probably be the only way you will be able to experience 6G because the waves are so easy to block. Now in a perfect 6G environment, you'll be able to see your friends and family in an augmented reality because the signal will have half of a second delay. We will be able to use life-size holograms of people standing before you like the Star Wars movies. We could have chips implanted in our brains and communicate with other devices like limbs or remotely controlled avatars in dangerous environments. We already have VR headsets to set the tone, but VR will be on steroids. In a world of people as avatars, you think kids don't go outside now? With this reality, outdoors will be foreign to kids. The possibilities of 6G are endless. Anything is possible. And look into the future of satellites travel across the sky. You got holographic images of people walking around, robot workers, self-driving cars, planes, boats, trains, and augmented reality. Like everything will be so different in a few years. And I'm talking about somewhere in less 20 to 30, maybe 40 years now, where we're gonna continue to see these different transitions. 
And guys, I really truly appreciate you checking me out. If you're interested in content like this, make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the channel. If you really like this video, go ahead and like it. I really do appreciate that. And until next time, I'll see you guys later.